the world has been on a bulking diet for a while. Everything is getting bigger, wider, longer and taller. So have our cars. No one wants a hatchback anymore. Get a crossover. It's bigger, like a small SUV. The modern Polo isn't even sub 4 meters anymore. Even mid-level sedans come with elongated wheelbase variants. Much like this one. This is a BMW 3 Series, but not a normal one. This is a BMW 330 LIM Sport, which means it's an elongated wheelbase. This is the biggest 3 Series ever made. And what's underneath? A 2-litre 4-port from BMW? The guys that are known for sheer driving pleasure? Have they gone soft or am I missing something? Now you're looking at the G20 platform and its predecessor, the F30, was uh, shorter, was narrower and this is a completely new car and it's a completely new platform. All of the creases and design elements remain though, like uh, the crease uh, along the body line of the side profile uh, stays there and all of the BMW elements are there. But it does look pretty much quite similar to the last generation and I know you guys are going to hate me for it but that's my opinion. Otherwise the car is in Portimao blue which is an M Sport option only and because this is an M Sport car you get the M aerodynamics package with a front apron, side skirts and a rear diffuser which functionality is debatable but they look really nice, me likey. Step inside the back seat and the LI's USP comes to play. You have an extended wheelbase, so 110 millimeters of more legroom comes to play. And you sit a little bit lower, so you recline a little bit more further backwards and there is a bit more thigh support. You also have a armrest with a little bit of polished metal and a panoramic sunroof, which is not available in the normal 3 Series. One thing that I really wanted to, ha I wanted this car to have was roll-up shades, but that's only available in the 5 Series if you want it. So save up a little bit more and get that if you need it. So yes, the 330 Li, just like any new evolution of any new car, has more gizmos, more features, it's more comfortable, more luxurious, is more refined and is overall a better car. But you expect that from BMW because they spent $8.4 billion on marketing, research and development every year. That is crazy. But we've got to address the elephant in the room. How does the new Big Bunda G20 330 Li fare when it's got a small engine and a little tiny turbo? Well, there's only one way to find out and that's with a little bit of hooning. your foot down and the engine does respond quite nicely. The B48 4-cylinder 2-litre engine has around 260 bhp, almost 260 bhp and 400 Newton meters of torque. Because of its uh, twin scroll uh, turbocharger, it feels nice and powerful even at low revs because all of the power is delivered very early on and it's super consistent throughout the rev range. But this is a 1.8 ton car, almost a 1.8 ton car and it does feel like it is a, it is struggling just a little bit. However, if you do want to light up the tyres, go at 20-30 kilometers an hour, remove traction control off and send it through a corner, you will be sliding and at least that is a good thing. Another good thing is that the B48 is a very tolerant engine. So, this is the driver's hub, I'm not, not going to talk about mods. So if you want to put a stage to tune on this, it'll gain you like 70 bhp more. And that should solve a little bit of the exhilarating ride part of it. The suspension on the BMW 330 Li has been softened and raised uh, compared to the 3 Series, the normal 3 Series, for the back seat to be a bit more plushy and a cloudy ride. Uh, 
well yes it has they have achieved that it is really nice while driving comfortably or uh, going over a bump at moderate paces but when it comes to driving like a BMW should be driven it uh, sort of lacks the precision that a BMW uh, usually does have it yes it grips quite well it's on Michelin Pilot Sport 4s uh, suspension sticks to the road pretty well but there is only one problem and that's body roll the the car loves uh, to be at like a 45 degree angle while you're taking a corner and that's okay because it's not meant for it but BMWs were meant about sheer driving pleasure and well this doesn't give you that exhilarating feeling that any uh, other BMW would that is not a grand limousine. When it comes to the backseat comfort while on the move, the 330 Li feels just like any other luxury sedan, composed and stable. But like I mentioned, the lack of equipment in the back like roll-up shades, no infotainment screens and a few other gimmicks does leave you a little bored after a while. But hey, let's be honest, those gadgets in the back are more of a party trick in front of your business partners rather than you using it on a daily basis. When it comes to the front cabin, everything is where you would expect it to be. You get a big storage bin in the center console and for a more grown up vibe you get this classy looking open pore wood trim instead of gloss black. It gets the latest from BMW's iDrive system with the functionality to use the scroller wheel as well as the touch screen and it gets a digital cockpit. Since this is the M Sport variant, it gets the M steering wheel which feels way too sporty for it to be in a car like this but at least it feels good while hammering it down the road. All in all, this is a beautiful, beautiful Grand Tourer and it does the job very well. The back seat though is where I would stay and if you are in the market for a 3 series but are a little taller or you need uh, something that will do you good in long trips, this is the option to go for and I think it's worth the money. So thank you so much for watching, peace out.